Hello, in this video I'm going to show how to check your connection status with your server. So let's do it. First I create the meter app as usual, meter create. Uh, now I'm going to, to add a few lines here just to check the status of my connection. And you can imagine like Meteor is connecting to the server using a WebSocket, so we can check the status of this connection. So it's really easy to do this with Meteor. I'm just importing Meteor here. And first, I'm also going to add like another tracker here, as I have above, and I'm going to get my status object. So use tracker. And maybe you're wondering like, how can I do that? Like, do I need to understand how WebSocket works? Actually not, like Meteor returns an object for you when you call this function, Meteor status. But before we show something in the page, let's just display in the log so you can see what's going on in the console. So I'm saving this file here. So let's refresh here and you can see that I am connected. That means like my browser here is connected to my server here. So it's working, like I can send commands to my server, I can call a method, I can fetch data as I'm fetching here from the publication. But let's see if you can control this. Maybe I can force the disconnection, maybe I can connect again. Yes, we do. So let's go here and let's duplicate this button. The first will be the disconnect button and later will be the reconnect button. So I'm going to use Meteor main object again, like meter.disconnect and I'm also going to use meter.reconnect. Maybe you're thinking like, but in, in which case I should use this? Maybe you want to disconnect your, your client because he wants to use your app offline. We can have another video later to talk about offline in Meteor, but then they are going to be disconnected. But maybe later they go to a different place and they want to reconnect to sync the data. And then you can call the Meteor reconnect because Meteor by default is going to try to reconnect all the time for you, unless you call disconnect. So you want to control this connection. So let's save this and see if these buttons are going to affect our status here. Okay, so I'm going to call disconnect and you can see now I am offline. And you can call reconnect again, then receive this message connecting and then connected. You can have like different states here, like you can have connecting plus false, so it's reconnecting. You can have a few states here and you can show for the user. So let's remove these links for now. Let's remove these links and I want to show my status here. And as you can see, the object has a status property inside it. And let's see, am I connected? So we can also show this Boolean here, connected. And the last one will be, oh, well, let's do this first. Let's see if it's working as we expected. Okay, as we know, when it's false, React's not going to render. So maybe you can have like a ternary like this, connected yes and no. So let's take a look. Yes, am I connected? We don't need this column here. Yes, so it's connected. No, I'm not connected. So with this very simple code, like just a few lines, you can have a real time like update for your user if he is disconnected. That's also going to be affected if his connection just drops. So you can show like, oh, you are offline now. So you can disable some buttons, you can disable some actions, or you can implement some way for you to save the data temporarily. So this is the way it works in Meteor. You can also see that like the auto tracker here and the auto run and the tracker here is still working because it's just a client action. But if you call like a method, this call is going to be in a queue and later it's going to be sent to the server. And you need to be careful with this case because maybe if the user like close the browser and open again, like by default Meteor is not saving these calls. So it's going to lose if the user like refresh the browser or close the browser. So if you want to have more offline capabilities, like that's a topic for another video. But let's connect again. So I am connected. And just to show you like how to provide some data for your user, let's remove this. 
You can also like import some other hooks from React, like use state. So you can try to store the last time the user was connected or disconnected, like when something changed. Let's see how we can do this with Meteor. So I'm going to have a state and an effect. I'm going to create like last time connection or connected at a set connected at. This is going to be a state, use state. I'm going to start with an empty state so I can have like a, a use effect here from React. If you're using another framework, it's the same idea. I'm just using React here, but you, you can apply the same idea to any framework. And I'm going to apply this effect again when the status dot status is different. And here I'm going to set connected that to a new date. And then I can add another line here. Last connection change. And I'm going to add my connected at dot to locator string. So you can have a nice string here and not a, an object from the date. I'm saving here. So I'm going to clean this log here. So my last connection change was now. You can see my time here. So I'm going to disconnect, reconnect, disconnect, reconnect. And you can see this is always changing accordingly. Like it's really simple. You can have this in a special page inside your app, or you can have like a top bar where you show a nice display saying, no, you are offline. Last time you were online was around this time. So you can see these changes happening here. Okay. You can also have like some callbacks, like one connection. So Meteor can call when the connection was like alive. So it would be like meteor.onConnection. But I'm not going to display this here because I kind of implemented this just using the status object here. And we also have the DDP connect and the DDP reconnect. This case, or actually on reconnect, this case you use to connect to a different server because right now this code is connecting to localhost 3000 because that's the default that Meteor does. It attaches your client to your server, but if you want, you can connect to a different backend. So if you have another Meteor app, you can also use like ddp.connect and you can see all this information in the documentation about server connections here. So. That's the top for the video, status, reconnections, disconnect. So you can also use DDP as it explains here to connect to a different backend. So that's it guys. Thank you. See you in the next video.